and the people at the service center told us to not update the phone now for the next three to four months. Okay, so over the past couple of months, we have been working on a secret video where we'll test the real user service experience of the most popular smartphone brands. Now lately we have noticed that a lot of you guys are having issues with software updates, like updates causing green lines in display, updates damaging the motherboard, updates causing camera issues. And these are so major an issue that few brands have started giving free extended warranty or are giving free repair. But does it really work? And which brand has the fastest repair time? Which smartphone brand is the best in terms of service repair? Well, we'll share our practical experience, ground reality with you guys so you can make a better purchasing decision. This is one hell of a video. Subscribe to Staywiser, like this video and let's go. Okay, now before we begin, quick disclaimer, we didn't break any of these devices. All the problems happened naturally. We have this Samsung Z Flip 4, Poco X3 Pro, Nothing Phone 1, Vivo X90 Pro, iPhone XS Max and here we sent the team TechWiser to the service center in proper disguise so they had no clue that it was TechWiser because we wanted it to be like a normal consumer like you don't need to be a media company to get your device repaired, right? So this whole experiment was the way you would go to the service center like a normal consumer. Let's start with Xiaomi because recently a lot of Poco phones are having motherboard dead issues or the camera stops working right after after the update. In fact, the issue is so serious that Xiaomi has started giving free extended warranty. But does it really work? Well, to test that out, we have the infamous Poco X3 Pro. This was sent to us by one of our hashtag Team TW member Suraj. He bought this phone on 29 June 2021, so it's about to be two years now. And here's the issue, and this has happened right after the update. So we turn on the phone and see it goes to the lock screen, then the screen goes white and it restarts. And this keeps on happening again and again, and the phone is not usable. In fact, Suraj took this to the Xiaomi service center in Nashik, but they straight up denied to repair the device for free. So we are here at the Noida Xiaomi service center and our dear Sayan will be going. So Sayan, are you, are you nervous? Not at all. <laughs> oh. Let's go. So we had a big discussion at the Xiaomi service center. We had to give the aadhar of the owner of the device, which was weird, but we'll get to the whole Poco X3 Pro story at the end of the video, we have the job sheet and everything, so we have lots to talk about it. In the meantime, we have Cyan's Z Flip 4. He bought this phone in September 2022, not even one year old, so it is still under warranty. And see here, the phone is not opening properly. Like there is some issue with the hinge. The display is working totally fine, but it is always in this angle, like it doesn't go flat. Okay, so they did take the phone, but there are three interesting things. Number one, surprisingly, there was very little crowd. Like for the S series and the Z series, there is a separate premium queue and there was no one there. Number two, they did not provide any backup phone. Like, that's a bummer. I was expecting a backup phone. Well, see, I work in a media company, so I can use a spare phone from there. But for you guys, for regular consumers, you might not have a spare phone. And since the Flip is a flagship product, I was expecting a backup device. Uh, another interesting thing, see, I use an eSIM, and what I found out was you cannot transfer eSIM profiles from one phone to another phone, even if the second phone supports eSIM. So there are two ways to go about it. First is you will have to redo the entire SIM activation process, or you'll have to get your eSIM converted into physical SIM and then use it in the second phone. I chose for that option. And number three, we'll have to wait for seven days. Well, we'll tell you about what happened with the C Flip 4 in just a moment. Well, we wait for Xiaomi and Samsung. We have this Vivo X90 Pro and the screen here is broken. Uh, how do you break the screen? It's a long story, but it was a bad fall. Thank God the display didn't break. It was just the outside glass that broke. So usually companies send us a review unit. We use it in the video and return it back. And this review unit had its glass broken. Now, since it's tech wiser, so we'll get the phone repaired since it's the fair thing to do. And since this is physical damage, it is not covered under warranty. So we went to the Vivo service center and surprisingly, they have a separate line for premium customers. Since this is a very new phone, they don't have a spare screen replacement. And after waiting for like one hour or so, they replaced the broken X90 Pro with a brand new X90 Pro. Like I have seen this happens only with brands like Apple but we got a new device. Now it did have to pay 22,000, which was the screen replacement price, but this was by far the most swift and quick solution to our problem. Kudos to Vivo. Now talking about Apple, we have this 10S Max with a broken back glass. And it hurts. Right, so we called up Apple customer service. Okay, so 
I have a iPhone XS Max and the back glass is broken. So how much will it cost to get it repaired? No sir, पूरा फोन रिप्लेस होता है. पूरा फोन रिप्लेसमेंट का कॉस्ट मैं बता देता हूँ. Okay okay fine. हाँ हाँ कर लीजिए आप. Sir exchange price है sixty nine thousand nine hundred. Nice number. तो XS Max को रिप्लेस करने का लगेगा sixty nine thousand nine hundred rupees. हाँ. Hmm. अच्छा इतने में तो फिर नया आईफोन ही आ जाएगा हाँ हाँ आईफोन थर्टीन आ जाएगा क्यों उन्होंने होता है तो थर्टीन ट्वेल्व में अच्छा तो अगर आईफोन ट्वेल्व या आईफोन थर्टीन होता तो वो रिपेयर हो जाता हाँ जी तो उसका कितना प्राइस होगा बैक ग्लास का थर्टीन का बैक पैनल का थर्टी फोर थाउजेंड सेवन ह so yeah, they cannot repair the Tennis Max back panel. Rather, they will give us a brand new Tennis Max if we pay 69,900 rupees. And that's the cost of a current iPhone 14, classic Apple. Now, fair thing, Tennis Max is an old device, but they did say if it was iPhone 12 or 13, they would replace the back panel starting from 34,000 rupees. That's like the costliest repair in this entire list. But you know, with Apple, there is always an alternative. Android. No, I mean third-party service. So we are out here in the offline market and we'll see what is the cheapest deal that we can get to get the Tennis Max fix. Let's go! So they just scraped out the broken back glass and then he put some glue and oh my god, the iPhone looks beautiful from the inside. And he just stuck up the glass and then he tied a lot of rubber bands on it and asked us to keep it this way for two to three hours. And... Finally, it's all done for 1400 rupees. And not kidding, for 1400 rupees, this looks like really good. Although, if you can see, it looks a bit bluish now instead of white. And also, at the edges, the finishing is not that great. But I mean, for 1400 rupees, I am not complaining. Like, this is mad great. And finally, we have Nothing. Now, Nothing is a new company, and the most common concern with Nothing in India is how is the after sales service? How many service centers does nothing have in India? So this was very interesting. Well, as you can see, we could find only one service center around our office and it shows good number of service center in and around Delhi or even smaller cities like Prayagraj. So we visited the nothing service center in Noida. But now to make this video even more difficult, we lost some of the footage. I'm, I'm so sorry. So I'll tell you our experience of it. We have this nothing phone one and it wasn't charging. We went to nothing service center and it turns out this was a common service center for a lot of brands like Asus, Nothing, etc. It's very common for new brands to do that. Luckily, there wasn't any crowd. They took the phone and within 10 minutes fixed the issue. Turns out it was just dirt stuck in the charging port which was causing the issue. So, nothing major. Alright, so it's been 10 days now and Sam just got a call from Samsung. Did they fix his phone? Well, let's find out. Okay, so the interesting thing here is they changed the entire display as well as the hinge and now the phone seems to be working fine. Also, the repair was free of charge since the phone is still under warranty. They said it took 10 days because the part was not available in the same Samsung service center. But yeah, the device feels brand new now. And that's not all. We just got a WhatsApp text from Xiaomi. Even the Poco X3 Pro is ready for pickup. Alright, so we got the POCO X3 Pro, the entire motherboard of the device was replaced. Apparently, POCO has extended the warranty on POCO X3 Pro, so now you get 2 years of warranty with this device. Now yes, POCO did keep their promise on the extended warranty, that's good. But on the flip side, the phone broke down because of their software update. And the people at the service center told us to not update the phone now for the next 3 to 4 months. <laughs> Which brings me to the irony of Poco. Like, Poco is promising three years of software update with their phone, but their service center people are telling not to update the phone. Weird. Now, I do understand that you have extended warranty, but this phone has gotten the motherboard replaced twice in two years. See here, we have the job sheet of both the times. Now, every time you replace the motherboard, you have to go through data loss, which is, if you save, okay, it's fine. Chalo, you have Google Photos and all of that. But what about the entire pain of going to the service center, then staying without a smartphone while it gets replaced? Like, even if you leave all of that aside, it doesn't leave a good impression on the brand. Plus, now it's only one month pending for the smartphone to go out of warranty. What after that? Should you, like, 
अब नेवर अपडेट द फोन सो या इफ पोको इज वॉचिंग आई मीन आई होप दिस मदर बोर्ड इशू एंड विद द पोको एक्स थ्री प्रो ओनली और अ बेटर वे टू टैकल दिस सोल्यूशन वुड बी टू जस्ट रिप्लेस द डिवाइस एंड गिव सम डिफरेंट फोन विच डजन हैव द मदर बोर्ड इशू बट या ओवरऑल आज सर्विस सेंटर एक्सपीरियंस इन डेली वॉज गुड एंड आई एम स्ट्रेसिंग ऑन डेली बिकॉज सर्विस सेंटर एक्सपीरियंस चेंजेस फ्रॉम लोकेशन टू लोकेशन बट वी फाउंड आउट देर वॉज वन थिंग कॉमन इफ यू हैव अ प्रीमियम फोन फ्रॉम अ प्रीमियम ब्रांड थिंग्स गो वेरी स्मूथली बट विद न्यूअर ब्रांड्स एंड बजट फोन्स The experience was very unsure. Like they might fix your device or they might not. Like even we weren't sure until we received the device that it was going to be fixed. So what we want from you is, let us know your service center experience so it would be helpful for the entire Team TW community. On that note, this is Pratik signing off. This was like a very big video. Pew pew pew.